Hello everybody and happy Metallica day to, to all of you, to the Metallica family, to the Metallica fans. Whatever you prefer to call yourself, hello and welcome to the video. If you're new here, hello, these videos always draw a lot of new, new people that have never seen me before. I'll introduce myself quickly. My name is Dan, I am Canadian. I've been living here in Mexico for about 18 years and I've been coming to concerts here for 21 years. And I've been doing these, these videos here for almost all that time. And it's really incredible. If you've never seen these before, Mexico or Mexico City, I guess especially, is famous for, for this all this bootleg merchandise stand. And this year, or this concert at least, they've outdone themselves more than ever. There's always a lot. I think there's far more this time than ever before. And I'm gonna show it all. I'm gonna do this a little bit differently this time than normal. So I've just um, come off the subway, which is right here. And normally on, on this uh, sidewalk here, there's not, there's not too much stuff here. Maybe just a few people selling stuff on the side of the, on the sidewalk. But this, this time, uh, this, this time they've got them all, all these guys on the sidewalk. Um, before I get to that, I wanna say hello, special hello, and thank you to the people who are responsible for bringing me here. There are some people I wanna thank. And if I can get them all, it's Mauricio in Mexico City. It's Jonathan in uh, Nayarit, Mexico. Chris in Las Vegas, um, Randy, Randall, Mr. Randy in, in California. I think he's in, is he in San Diego? I'm not sure. Hello, Randy, Randers. Uh, Dallas in Saskatoon, Canada, my good friend Dallas. And also Brian Jones. Uh, I'll uh, keep an eye out. I'm gonna have video featuring Brian Jones. He might be interesting for, uh, for a lot of you people. So what I'm gonna do today, thank you to all those guys and I'll explain that. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna do uh, a video review, I guess, which was by request by um, somebody requested, one of those guys requested that to a review of the show. It might have been, I'm not sure, maybe maybe uh, Mauricio. I will I will get to that. But so this is Sunday. This is the second of four shows. You can you can fast forward through me talking if you want to see the merch. This is the second of four shows. Tonight is today is Sunday. They played Friday. I didn't come. But I am coming, I'm here today and I'm coming again on Friday next week. Uh, so I'm, I'm in the middle, I'm in shows two and three, not one and four. So what I'm gonna do a little bit differently this time, usually I, I show the merch and I kind of talk as I do. And don't despair because I will talk. But I think what I'll do this time, this is gonna be extra long. I think I'm just gonna do a walkthrough of everything. And you'll see, I've never shown everything. I'm gonna strive to do everything this year. And you'll see just how big it is. And I'll try to do it all in one take. And hello to the people who have come and said hello to me, that they know me from my channel. Uh, hello to everybody. If I get stopped in the one take, I'm gonna have to do a, a quick pause. People wanna say hello or take a picture. I am very famous. This is the 24 karat face that you're looking at. So I'm gonna try to do it in one take and show everything and you'll see just how big it is. And then maybe I'll do a second take, just kind of zooming in and showing some things. This first part is gonna be a walkthrough and then I'm gonna focus on things more. I'm gonna do all this again on Friday next week or later this week I guess and I've got some other videos I had a request from Randers to do a vlog which is going to be coming out maybe tomorrow of my my whole day from my leaving my house to here to the stadium that will be up so um, here comes the walkthrough hopefully just one take no commentary I don't know if I can control myself but but I'll try to keep it no commentary and then I'll take a closer look at some things so strap yourself in I think you're in for a long trip.
Gracias.
VIP. That's not me. I'm VNP, very normal person. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not special at all. Uh, I'm not important. I, I'm just a guy here uh, taking a video about merchandise. So I, I did an overview, a, a kind of a quick run through those seven minutes, which may not sound pretty long, but seven minutes of showing Metallica merchandise with no stopping and no looking at anything. You could, maybe, maybe somebody uh, who's very ambitious, maybe even industrious, you want to count how many, how many stands there are. But, but there are a lot. I, I feel like there's, there's more this year. I think around the same this year as, as usual, just more outside. The other big difference, if you noticed, and, and I'm sure you did, every, every tent is, is uniform now. They're all this, the black, they say merchandising, they're all the same size. That, that's new as of this concert. I've been coming to concerts here at this stadium since 2008. And all these puestos, these stands, they've always been, you know, some are tall, some are shorter, some are wide, some are longer, some have electricity, some don't. This is the first time I've seen where they're all the same, they're all uniform. It's very, they've really stepped it up. And the, the prices too, the, the prices are 250 if you're wondering. I'll, I'll walk through now and then show you. Most t-shirts, about 90% are 250 pesos. A few are 300 and even fewer are 100. But 250 is, is the normal price. There's no haggling here. So, you know, if you ever come here for a concert, everybody thinks that when you come to Mexico, you haggle. The price is the price here. That's it. Um, so it's it's really, really done. It's very pro. All the guys, they, they wear lanyards and they've got proper shirts and everything. They've um, they've really stepped it up. And I now I will go and I'll look through. I'll take a closer look a la Seth Meyers. I hate that guy. I, I like his material but he personally he drives me nuts so I, I will take a closer look starting now I'll, I'll just show stuff and as I talk I'll, I'll talk about my Metallica history for those who are new um, so my Metallica history I'm 54 years old I first saw Metallica I first got into Metallica in 1983 I got Kill 'Em All for Christmas in 1983 um, saw them live for the first time January 19th 1985 on Ride the Lightning Tour, and here I am 40, what's that, 39 years later, seeing them again on the 72 Seasons Tour. So that's my brief Metallica history, and and I've seen them a bunch of times in between too, including several times here in Mexico City. So I'll go through these. If anybody has any questions or comments, you can uh, ask me in the comment section down below. Now there are, as I showed you, a lot of tents or puestos, a lot of it is repeat stuff. You're going to see, uh, uh, you know, a lot of stuff repeated. Obviously, not every tent is, is unique, but th there's some really, really cool stuff, including these. Uh, look at look at this uh, plush Metallica. Aren't they cute? And you know what I like to do? I like to, to look at something and, and say the name of it too. Like, oh, pins. Oh, shot glasses. That's what that's what I do. Hey, coffee cups. What do you know? I haven't seen these ones, and all my walking around, I haven't seen these shirts. I like that color. I like the color of this too. That's Cthulhu. That's interesting. I haven't bought anything yet. There, there are a few that I have my eye on, but I'm coming here Friday as well. And sometimes it's it's kind of a gamble. I've been burned before. Sometimes they they sell things cheaper at the end, especially if they're doing four shows. But there's also a good chance that what you're looking for is is gone. I, I'm seeing you everywhere today. Um, so you take your chance. I say this every time as a warning. Don't buy this now, right? They won't let you in with glass. No, they won't let you in. Yeah, so if anybody's going to come here, you can buy these. These are plastic, and they'll let you in with those. But don't buy any coffee cups or any other glassware because you will get denied. Everybody's here. Um, all right, let's see what else we got. Notebooks, if you want to write your life story. You can do it in a Metallica book. Notepad. Oh, look at that. They even have the uh, the design on the pages. Oh, that's pretty cool. And the Metallica logo. Sweatbands. somebody from the Metallica crew, this guy. 
And I'll say too, I maybe I've told this story before. I saw Soundgarden here, not not in the stadium at Photo Saw, but uh, across the way, as Frank Rizzo says. And uh, I was outside doing what I'm doing now, and I saw their crew outside, and they were. This was, I guess, pre-smartphones. This was in 2013, and their crew was talking to the band inside through walkie-talkies, and they were describing. They were saying, "Oh, there, there's some sweatbands here." There's some pins, and then the band was telling them, okay, buy this, this, this. And so these guys, uh, their crew, bought a bunch of stuff and uh, took it back to the, the guys in Soundgarden. And I was doing a video almost in this exact spot in 2016, Guns N' Roses. And uh, Melissa Reese, the keyboardist, and Del James, Mr. Guns N' Roses for almost the existence of the band. They were walking around out here looking at merch. It's pretty cool. Look at this giant poncho. I hope she's not laughing at me. Whoops. Harvester of Sorrow. Possibly my favorite Metallica song. It's in the top five for sure. I'm not sure what the other four are, but Harvester is one of them. Hola, buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Oh, I haven't seen these yet. It's rippling for water. Ah, impermeable? Yeah. Ah, these are like, uh, like rain, not raincoats, but like uh, waterproof. Or not water, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, Re repellent, it repels rain. Oh, those are pretty cool. Yeah, ¿Qué precio these, tiene? Uh, in 500. 500? Yeah. 500 pesos for that. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. And this is um, blush, blush? Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's soft. It's like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, those are pretty cool. Yeah, we have uh, medium, large, and extra large. Okay, cool. 500 pesos. Yeah. That's the first time I've seen these ones. Cool. Gracias, eh? Thank you, buen día. Igualmente. I've seen um, zero. The, there, there's two opening, two two opening bands for each of the weekends. Uh, Greta Van Fleet and Wolfgang Van Halen, Mammoth, opened on Friday, and today it's Five Finger Death Punch and Ice Nine Kills. I saw one Ice Nine Kills shirt. I haven't seen any any Greta Van Fleet, any um, Wolfgang Mammoth. Oh, this is unusual. All right. Uh, I'll, show, I'll show the one that I'm thinking of. I'll give a little spoiler. Permiso. One that I've got my eye on is this one. I used to really be into Mexican designs when I first moved here. But I've lived here 18 years now and I'm a little bit over it, but it's still pretty cool. But I like that shirt. I like the Metallica, the yellow Metallica logo. This is interesting looking stuff. There's a lot of knickknacks, they call these stickers, pins, pulseras. Oh, these these tough guy wristbands, I'm almost like my watch. Patches, keychains. Better miss.
There's the, there's a closer look at this shirt that I'm thinking of. That's uh, like a women's cut there. That's pretty cool. We'll see. Ah, oh, look at this, another cool shirt. A uh, jacket, I should say. Ah, oh, that's cool. Oh, it's a reversible. I think this also is impermeable. Feels rainproof. ¿Qué precio tiene? 1,800. 1,800, a lot more than the other one. Yeah, he said that is water repellent. <laughs> he said you can spill gas, coke, oil, anything on it. Oh, I gotta get away from the from the um, the music. YouTube is gonna slap my wrist if they hear that. I think I might be in trouble already. I didn't save myself in time. I gotta go where there's few people. All right, how about this one? Here's some uh, glassware, drink drinking stuff. What do you call this? You buy this as a combo. You get this, yeah, the plastic cup, the pen. And a coffee cup. First ashtray sighting for you, Metallica smokers. And what are these? Encendedores? Pero es un encendedor, ¿verdad? Let's see, he's going to give me a sample. Oh, it's got a safety on it. Oh yeah, look at that. It's like a flamethrower. I feel like I'm back in Nam looking at that. It's giving me PTSD. Oh, he's pointing it right at my face. Gracias, eh? 200 pesos, I think he said for that. First tote bag sighting. Buenas tardes. It's good to stay on the shady side. You know, in Canada, we call these toques. Americans call them beanies. I don't know what they're called in Mexico. Gorras? I know gorras are like uh, base pot. Gorras? Yeah, those are gorras. Y gorras también. These pins are cool. These are uh, ceramic, I think. These, these are just like the typical pins. These are cool. There's uh, some traditional lighters. Not like that flamethrower that guy was wielding a couple of minutes ago. This jacket. That's like a, what is this? Like a denim jacket? Oh, look at this, Hetfield riding the lightning. This is different stuff here. I haven't seen, uh, this is, I guess, St. Anger? No, what is that? Orange that's got the St. Anger color. Ah, Dia de Muertos. Ah, okay. Si, si. It's a papel picada, right? Okay. More tote bags. Now, oh, this guy's got stuff I haven't seen at any other stand. Now the world is gone, I'm just one. Gracias, Efe. Oh, please, God help me. Look at 
tarjeta mostramos, amigo. I haven't seen these either. These are some uh, Zippo knockoffs. I guess there's going to be no gas in them. Okay, gracias. Sin gas, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. Okay. No, that's too bad. She's got she's got some fuel there. Give me fuel. I don't know if she has fire. I don't know if she has that which I desire, but she's got fuel. Okay, gracias. Oh, and here's some Metallica beer. Metallica family. Kawamita. It's Cata Blanca beer. Cerveza de verdad, eh? See? Don't tread on me. Haven't seen these yet, these baseball jerseys. Glass. If you're a sneaky drinker, that's what you want. If you want to keep your secret, uh, you're, you're drinking a secret from your friends and family, co-workers, loved ones, you're going to buy that flask. Here, I think I showed this earlier, but there's a better look at that poncho. That's really cool. pick it up I'll, I'll only ah here okay I haven't seen this yet either the the Metallica clock oh there are three different ones what are these magnets oh those are cool I might I might get a couple of those for my fridge This is the most crowded aisle. This would generally be the path that you would follow when you come out of the metro. So there's going to be more people on this side. See more Metallica crew members, these guys here. I think this uh, design was by a Mexican guy can't remember his name. He's, he's done some... some uh, this guy's going to show me a beach towel with it. Oh, same thing. I uh, know it's a little bit different. Ah, uh, yeah. Probably the same artist. Yeah, ah, uh, that's the poster, I think, from Madrid. From the show in Madrid. Done by a Mexican guy. Yes, I recognize it. Can't remember his name. I thought these were flags. They're beach towels. 100, 100. Okay, gracias. <laughs> Business is picking up, as Jim Ross, Jr. used to say, or used to say something like that. Business is about to pick up. These are uh, uh, cigarette boxes, I think, uh, and they have uh, built-in lighters. I think. You, what do you do? You go like this. I think. Let me see. Yeah, it heats up there. No, I can't open it. I only got one hand. 
Pues es que se me gustó por el precio. She started talking to me. She thought it was him. Oh. He's like leaning in. Uh, here's the other shirt I'm looking at. This one is uh, this one is 300. All of these are 300. They're, they are better quality. Ah, there's the man. They're quick in Mexico. That's that's the design of the poster, the official poster from Friday night. They've already put that on a on a shirt. Yeah, I might buy that one. All right, let me pause for a second. I'm back in the main section here. I'm going to wrap it up soon. I'll just go down this uh, kind of quick. I'll get in the shade again. More Metallica crew here. These guys are making a point to cater to the Husky Metallica fan here with a with a sign saying that they've got big sizes. I'll go in the sun. Look at everybody wants to be in the shade. Nobody, nobody's on the sunny side. Uh, there was a guy back here. He had, uh, he was the only guy I saw that had shirts for 100. I think it was this guy. The kind of off, off yellow ones. It was not, it wasn't him. The, the 72 seasons ones, he had a whole wall of yellow ones and they were only 100 pesos. The, the color was a little bit off. They weren't bright yellow like some of the other ones. I might buy one of those if I can find them again. They were somewhere around here. And of course now I can't find it. <laughs> ah, I don't think that guy was up this far. N I not important. Let me go back from whence I came. Here was the guy that had for 100 pesos. 100 pesos, verdad? Yeah, these are these are 100. Two for 150. Wow. Yeah, you can see that the color is a little bit off, even from each other. It's a little bit more golden boy, like uh, Jerry Seinfeld, a little bit like a faded gold. Still pretty good. Maybe maybe I'll buy that for 100 pesos. Ah, 
All right, here I am back at the beginning. And you know what? It's it's only, it's not even 425 now. Man, I come here way too early. I, I worked this morning. I started working at 5 a.m. I woke up at 440, started work at, at 5 a.m. Yesterday I worked from, I, I still, uh, you know, I have a lot of expenses and things to pay for. And again, thank you for all the donations. This is separate. So yes, I worked 16 hours. I started work at 5 a.m. and finished at 9 p.m. Today I started at 5 a.m. and finished at 10 and then came here. I could have worked another hour or maybe two, but I'm Canadian, so I like to be punctual and allow myself lots of time. And now, now it's 4.30. Doors don't even open for another two hours. And I, I have assigned seating, so it's not like I benefit by going in early. Uh, I get to sit on a cold uncomfortable concrete slab if I go in right now. So I don't know what I'm going to do for, for a couple of hours. The opening band, which is Ice Nine, Ice Nine Kills, they start at 6.30. So I've got two hours to go. Uh, I guess I'll walk around a little bit more. i got to have a drink. I'm very... I'm parched. I'm beyond thirsty. I'm parched right now. So that's what I'm going to do. Thank you again, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned for another... I guess I'm going to show the same merch on Friday. Buenas. Look at this guy. And this woman. Who's she? I don't know. And this guy. I don't know who these people are. People love being on camera. So I'll do another video probably exactly like this on uh, on Friday. I will also, if you're watching this now and it's just fresh and hot and juicy and you're burning the roof of your mouth on this video, stay tuned for another one tomorrow which is going to be my vlog, my travel vlog from Cuernavaca all the way here to the stadium. That's going to be up. I'm going to do a review of the concert at some point. I'm not sure in which order those will be up. The merch video will be first. That takes precedence. And that is all, I think, for the, for the big, the mighty Metallica. Everybody calls every band mighty. Saxon. They say Saxon is mighty and Van Halen. I think Metallica truly is mighty. And I'm babbling. That means it's time to go. So, so for me and amongst the, uh, the, all the Metallica, the rabid Metallica fans, See you again uh, in the next video and see you again doing this all again on Friday. Enjoy the show. Bye. The fucking YouTube. Just when I think I'm out, these guys pull me back in. This guy was calling me over. Look at it, look at his shirt. Mex Mexica, Mexica. Mexica. This is Quetzalcoatl or uh, Mexico. Quetzalcoatl. Okay, with a Quetzalcoatl in, in oh. Maya or Quetzalcoatl in Azteca or Mexica, Mexica or Cucalcan in Maya. And uh, look at what this guy did. He gave me a shirt. He donated a shirt to me because he knows me from my YouTube channel. Very, very nice. It's so nice to meet uh, people uh, who are so generous with me. It's, it's uh, very much appreciated. Mucho gusto a las dos. David. David y... El brother. El brother. Tu hermano? Yeah. El brother. ¿En serio? I am the brother. No, no, I said... I am the brother. Hey, the brother. The brother. I am the brother. The Medios only. hermanos? No, I am only. Nickname. only. Oh, I don't think these guys are brothers. Look at the height brother, difference. Nickname. Brother, David. David, brother. I think they're pulling my leg. All right. Mucho gusto, hermano. David. Okay, that's all. See ya.